Hi everyone, how are you? My student, Mr. Zaki with you in Mohiba level three. Model seven, now I want to open in model seven, page 75, please. We want to solve these problems. Now, number one, complete the sequence. One, four, nine, sixty. How, what is the answer here? Complete the sequence. When you see the numbers, you see one, four, nine, sixteen. But what the another numbers here? How, how I think to find the another numbers? You have two ways. Maybe when you add one plus three, you get four. And four plus five, you get nine. And nine plus seven, you get 16. 16 plus what? Plus nine. Look here, you have here odd number. Three, five, seven, nine, odd number. Then you get here 25. This is the first way. So the answer is what? The answer is number B, right? So the answer is B. Okay, what is the another way? How I solve these problems in other, in other way? We can solve it, square the number. Look here. One square, it is one. Two square, it is what? It is four. And three square, it is nine. Sixteen, it is four square. So it is sixteen, right? So the next number is five square, it is what? It is 29, right? Oh, sorry, 25, right? So the answer is B. Do you understand these problems? Is it clear? Ahmed, Al Hassan, Fatima, Kauthar, Maria, Misk, Zainab, is it clear? You didn't understand, Maria? Okay, I explain again. Okay, look now, complete the sequence. Here, when you see these numbers, here one. When you square it, one square, it is what? It is one. Four, it is two square, right? Equals four. You know how to find two square? Two square, you multiply two, two times, two, time two, right, Maria? It is four. What about nine? Nine, it is a three square. So three times three, it is nine. What about 16? 16, it is four square, right? Four square, it is 16. What is the, the last number? or the missing number, it is five square. How I get five square, Maria? Five times five, it is 25. So the answer is, what the answer? It is 25. Now, is it clear? Right, good. Good. Okay, number two. Now, question number two. Please open page 75 to write how I solve these problems. Number two, if x over y equals six, then x plus five y over y, what is the answer here? You have also two ways to find this answer, to find the answer of 
the problems. Now, x over y equals six, we can separate here, denominator y, you can separate it. You can write x over y plus five y over y, right? Okay, now x over y, we have it. The value, it is what? It is six, right? Then plus five y over y, you can simplify, then you delete y with y, then you write five, right? Then six plus five equals what? Equals 10, 11, right? So the answer is, is B. If you don't understand any problems, you must tell me. No problem, I repeat what is how to uh, how how to how to get the answer. Okay? Now it is the answer is B. Okay, is it clear? We can also find this answer another way. How maybe you can write, maybe you can write here six offer. Yeah, maybe, maybe if uh, the answer, okay, I try it another way. Now six, the denominator is one. So X equals six and Y equals one. Then you substitute here. X, it is six. A plus five multiply y. Y it is when and here when so x plus five over when equals eleven. So the answer is B, right? So you have when you think, then you get the the uh, short way to solve the problems is it clear is it clear ahmed arnashmi yes yes right good it's clear. yes uh, please you my, okay thank you very much now we will go to question number three now look if you have a three over five to the power n plus two, then equals 125 over 27. Then n plus five, what is it? So we want to find n plus five. So when you find n plus five, you must find the pairs, you must, fi pair, you, you must find n. How I find it in? Okay, you can hear analysis this number because it must you must put the basis the same to solve this equation. You must put it the base is the same. Then you delete the basis. Maybe you take it this in grade eight or I think in grade nine. Okay, we try it. Now three over five to the power n plus two. Okay, how analyze is this? How you put this number in power? When, 125, how you write it in power? What do you think? Can you write in chat? Okay, can you write the answer? How you can, how you write this 125 in power. You write it five over what? Five to the power what? To the power three, right? 27, also you can write this, this number in power. It is a three to the power a three. So now we have the same exponent. 
you take a common explanation and now you put it again, three over five to the power n plus two, n plus two, then equals here plus two, then equals five over three, all to the power what? All to the power three. You put a common factor or a common power on the base five over three. So look, now is the basis is the same now? I ask you, is or are the bases the same now? You look here, a three over five and five over three. Are these the same? No, it is not the same. So you must be the basis is the same. So you change the denominator and numerator. Then you write a three over five to the power n a plus two. Then you change here denominator and numerator. So you put it five in the denominator and put a three in numerator and you put, you change the exponent. Here three, you put, you put minus three. You change the sign. Now we have the same basis. So you can delete. Then you have only two n plus two equals minus three, right? Then two, you put it in the another side, n equals minus three, and you change minus two, you change the sign, equals minus five. Oh, you will get now n is minus five, right? We get now n is minus five. Then you substitute here, minus five plus five equals what? Minus five plus five equals what? Equals zero. So the answer is number D, right? My student, is it clear? Do you understand? If you want to repeat, explain it, no problems. Do you understand? The main idea in these problems, you must, the main idea in these problems, you must put the same basis, the same basis. So you uh, analyze this number, put it in power, then you write the, uh, the answer. Okay, that's good. Now, question number four, square root of three to the power x plus one equals three square root of three, then two to the power x minus one. Now, how I solve these uh, problems? Okay, wait. Okay, now, a question number four, square root of a three to the power x plus one equals a three square root of a three, then two to the power x minus one. Be attention, please. How I solve this problem? Now, you must get you must find x. Here, you must find x. How I find x? I, the same equation, number four. You must write here the same basis, or you can also, you can also write here three, square root of three, then, write it in power because I have x plus one 
square root of 3 to the power x plus 1, I want here also to write it the same basis. How I write it this in the same basis? Okay, can you tell me? Or can you help me? Okay, if you can't also, yes, I help you. I help you. Now, here, square root, look here, look here. What about a three? A three, it is the same of square of uh, square root of three to the power two. Is it the same? I ask you, is it the same? Is it three equal square root of a three to the power two? Is it the same? Is it the same, right? So I can write here square three, it is square root of a three to the power two. Now I put it here, a three square root of a three to the power two multiply by square root of r of three. Then we have exponent one here and exponent two. You can add because the same exponent. So it is square root of r three to the power what? To the power e three. Log. Then we have the same basis here. You can delete square root of a three and square root of a three. It is now x plus one equals three. So you write x plus one equals a three. Then when goes to another side, x equals a three minus one, then x equals two. Now we find x equals two. We substitute, substituted this in what? Substituted in, in the problems, you write two to the power two minus one. Two to the power two equals four minus one equals a three. So the answer is, the answer is number A, right? The answer is number A. Do you understand? Is it clear, my student? Is it clear? Hello, my student, can you hear me? Yes, clear, right, good, good. Okay, I want to write something. If I ask you, I write to write something because I want uh, or I feel you are with me. Okay, right, good. Now we will go to number five. These questions, five integer numbers, their median is five. Their mode is four and their range is five. Find the greatest number of this number. Okay, try it to solve me, to solve this problem or to help me. Okay, now we have here five integers. Okay, we write, we write here five integers when this two, also this three, four, and five. Okay, now what about five integers numbers? Their median is, is six. What is it median? It is the number who in the middle, right? In the middle, we write here six. In the middle, when? He write six. 
Okay, now their mode is four. Okay, mode is four. We write because four is less than six. Now here we write it for two times. Why? Because mode is the four is uh, repeated more time more than one. And their range is five. What is the meaning of range? The range is you subtract or from the big, big numbers to the small number. So he said five, then you, we write here nine, because nine minus, five, minus four, it is five, right? Find the greatest number of this number. So what is the greatest number here? What is the greatest number here, right? Can you tell me? Because it is clear. What is the greatest number here? The greatest number here is nine, right, Al Hassan? You are good. Right, good. Yes, you have a good job, right. So the answer is what? It is D, right? Okay, is it clear, my student, these problems? Right, good. Now, number six. If three to the power x plus three to the power x plus three to the power x equals one, then x, what is the answer? Be attention, please. And you must know here addition or multiplication. We have different way. Right, Maria. How you solve it? If you have multiplication, I want to tell you something. If you have multiplication here, if you have multiplication here, you can write three to the power and you add the exponent, you add put the power three to the power three X. And we write it here when, so when it is a three to the power zero, because any number, when you have uh, any number, when it it's has a zero to the power zero equals one. So X equals one, a few multiplication. But now here we have addition. So what I will do, if I have addition, only you add here. How many three to the power X we have? We have three times, of 3 to the power 3 to the power x equals 1. Right? Now, we can add here 3 to the power 1 and 3 to the power x. And also, I want to write this one in exponent, in power. How I write it? 3 to the power 1 plus x so we write when plus x equals a three when it is what? Three to the power zero. So now we have the same base, right? Can we delete now a three with the three? Then we have x plus when equals zero. Then x equals minus one, right? So the answer is, the answer is X equals minus one, right? Good, Maria. Now number seven, is it clear? This is my student number six. Right, we will go to number seven now. If two and the three, two solution of the equation x square plus mx or plus n equals zero, then m plus n, what is it? Right, good. 
how I write this solution in equation. We have a rule. What is the rule? When you write two brackets, x minus m or any numbers, it is maybe you can write it x1 or l or m, any m, maybe m, but not the same m here because this m is you add to solution and n it is multiplying two and by three, but not the same m. I want to change uh, the, the letters. I put it A, we have solution A and also the second brackets x minus b equals zero, right? Then you write here, you write the two solution. When write it here, two and a, you delete a, then you write here two, right? And also b, you delete here b, and you write here a three, right? Now, what is it m plus n? Here m, when you add the solution, you get m. m equals, when you add the solution, minus two plus minus three, it is minus five. Then what about n? n for multiplying two solution. Minus two times minus three, it is what? Six. Then you substitute m, it is minus five plus six equals what? equals one. So the answer is one, right? The answer is one. You can also, you can find, where you can multiply these uh, brackets, then you get the same equation, then you get M, um, it is minus five and N is six, then you add, then the answer is one, right? So the answer is D. Okay, are you with me? My student, are you with me? Can you hear me? Yes, Al Hassan. And what about what about the others? Are you with me? Misk, Zainab, Kautar, Fatima, Al Hassan. Ahmed, right? Good. Yes. I want to be attention because these problems need thinking. Okay, now, number eight. The literal area of a right circular cylinder is 24 centimeters. And the length of the diameter of its base is eight centimeter. Find its volume. How I find volume? What is the volume of cylinder? Can you hear me? What is the rules? The form. Volume of cylinder, it is what? It is by R square multiply by H, right? This is the, volu the volume of cylinder. Now, R, I have it or no? Radius, I have? Okay, radius here the literal area of a right circular cylinder, it is 24, and the length of the diameter, yes, I have diameter, but I don't need 
diameter. I need a radius. What is the radius? Can you write? Because diameter is eight, so the radius equals what? The radius equals what? Divided by two? Yes, right. Radius half diameter, right. Good, good job, Al Hassan. It is what? It is four, right. So I have now radius is four. What about the height? What about H? How I find H? H is the height. So I get it from what? from the literal, literal area. How I find it? Okay, literal area, it is, I have a rule also, two by R H equals 24. Now I can find H here because I have radius, it is four. Then I put it here, two by, multiply by four, multiply by H equals 24, right? Right? Okay, here I write it four, I write four, Right, now divided by two times four, it is eight, divided by eight, also divided by by, because I don't need by here. And here also eight by, then you can delete here. Also 24 divided by eight by, equal 20, 24 equals what? When you divide it, you can simplify eight with 24, it is a three, then a three equal over what? Over by. So I find now H, H is three over, four, over by. Then we substitute in the rule, okay? You put it volume equals by R. R, it is four, then you put it 16, right? Because four square, it is 16. Good. What about H? H is three over, three over by, then we can simplify, we can simplify, here by with by, then 16 multiply three equals, equals what? Equals what? Equals 48 centimeter cube, centimeter cube. Now the answer is number C. You see? Right, good. Good. So uh, now I, uh, okay, this now, number nine now. Compare between two values of A and value of B. How I compare between two values? We can write here, here I have, Boyan 66, I can write in fraction, 66 of over what? 100, right? Then how I compare between them? You can multiply it like this, or you can simplify. If you have a big numbers, so you can simplify it first. Then you multiply it across. A 12 over 18, what is the answer here? Divided by six equals two over three. 
right? It is two over three. What about the second value? 66 divided by 100 divided by two, it is 33 divided by 50. Now you can find a cross multiplication. Now 15 times two, it is 100. And the three times 33, it is 99. Ah, so what is the bigger or what is the greater now? What is the greater now? Which number, which value? Which value is greater? It is A, right, good, good. Maria al Hassan, right, it is A because we find value of A is 100. So the answer is A. Value of A is greater than value of B. Right. Number 10 now. Number 10. Okay, Khalid scored 120 out of 150 in the test. What is Khalid's final percentage? Now, how I solve this problem? Can you help me how to solve this problems? Now, what is Khalid's final percentage? We write it here. It is easy, I think. Khalid's score is 120. So write 120, right? Out of what? Of 150, the interest. So write 150. Multiply to put it percentage, multiply by 100, right, Maria, right. Right, you are an intelligent, right, good, good job, right. Then you can simplify, you can simplify zero with zero and also 12 ti time 100, it is when 20, oh, you can also simplify more. Right, divided by by two by three, it is four, and by three it is five, and also divided by five it is one, divided by five is it twenty, so twenty times four equals equals what? Four times twenty equals what? Equals eighty. Right, good. So the answer is 80%. The answer is C, right? Good. Now we will go to another question number 11. Number 11. Okay, we can separate the video between uh, uh, the classes between two video. So I, I don't want uh, the video is long. So I uh, stopped this video. Then I, re I will start in a new uh, video. Thank you and you are welcome. Mr. Zeki with you. Thank you. Good luck in your life. Bye-bye.